we wanted to look into the 21st century a little further and to create some excitement about the forward-looking transit in our downtown, as well as move towards a diesel-free downtown. And the great thing about having zero emission vehicles is that that mobile source, that point source, the emission on the street where the pedestrian is, goes away. Get the diesel particulate exhaust and the ozone creating components out of our operation in circulator service downtown. We've had great feedback just from working with the Proterra team. Folks have been real responsive, proactive, which is great. The public in Louisville has responded very positively. It's a fast charge bus, which means that we can use the bus on a specific route for the entire day without having to take the bus back to the uh, facility to recharge over a longer period of time. Um, and then also, uh, it met all of the requirements that we're looking for. It's a lighter bus. Uh, it's lighter than your regular CNG bus because it's made out of a composite fiber material. Uh, it's safe to use because the passengers can board and alight the bus while the bus is charging. Overall, we've developed a great partnership with Proterra. They've listened, they've listened to our issues, they've addressed them appropriately, and uh, you know we're happy with the performance of the bus and we're happy with how progress has improved. We gotta look at our future generations. We gotta look at our responsibility to preserve uh, our natural resources, as well as cleaning the environment for our, our uh, children and grandchildren. Let them enjoy what we have right now. Uh, we should keep uh, the environment as clean as possible. We looked at the hybrid batteries as well as the electric uh, buses and uh, we were astounded when we looked at them, the savings what we could generate, um, with, especially with the electric. So uh, it was just part of our overall strategy of trying to turn the page from what we were to become something new, what we wanted to be, and this was part of that strategy. We are getting better miles per gallon equivalent. And we are reducing uh, our costs for maintenance and uh, we are saving dollars because of that. And we are also reducing our carbon footprint. So we're, we're meeting all the standards that uh, we are expecting to meet and uh, it's worked out very well for us. The miles we've run right now with the electric, all electric buses, I think are over 100,000 miles. And we're looking at probably about a 50 to $60,000 savings uh, since we've been running those buses. And that's money that we can plow back into operations for more service or additional routes. There are a lot less parts, a lot moving, less moving parts. Uh, a lot less fluids, um, so it's no comparison. It's, it's much less expensive for the electric vehicle than it is for, say, a straight diesel. There is a good story to tell, and I think over time, uh, the story will be my colleagues and how many of these buses they might be adding to their fleet.